Hello children! Today we are studying vertebrate and invertebrate animals. We have to remember that some animals have a skeleton. These animals are called vertebrates. Look at this picture and this picture. We can see skeletons of different animals and they have lots of bones. Remember that a skeleton is all of an animal's bones. If you look at this photo, we can also see the skeleton of a really, really big dinosaur. Look at these big horns. For example, fish. Fish are vertebrates. They are vertebrates because they have a skeleton. They have a backbone and they have lots of bones. Turtles are also vertebrates. As you can see in this photo, you can see the bones of a turtle and the big shell. The shell is like the house of a turtle. Ducks are also vertebrates. Look at this beautiful duck and the duck's skeleton. This is the backbone and these are the bones of the wings. There are more vertebrate animals, for example, the snake, the frog, the dog, and the bear. They are really, really beautiful animals. Do you think is a bee a vertebrate? No, it's not. It's an insect, and insects are not vertebrates. They are invertebrates because they don't have a skeleton. Remember, invertebrate animals don't have skeletons. Snails are invertebrates, for example, because they have a shell, but in their bodies they don't have bones, they don't have a skeleton, and they don't have a backbone. What do you think is a cat? Is it a vertebrate or an invertebrate? A cat is a vertebrate. Look at the skeleton of a cat. And what about an ant? Do you think it's a vertebrate or an invertebrate? An ant is also an insect because they don't have bones, so it's also an invertebrate animal. And what about a cow? Yes, very good. A cow is a vertebrate. Look at the skeleton of a cow and look at the beautiful cow in the photo. Okay, we've finished for today. I hope you learned lots of things and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.